Hi everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. We're here in the oldest city in Taiwan, Tainan. First, I want to wish all, all of you who are watching this video peace, health and happiness. And we're going to find out what makes this town so great. I'm already discovering some great things. But, you know, there's a lot of thumbnails you can click on. You pick mine, so I thank you for that. So we're going to show you only the best stuff here in, in Tainan. All killer, no filler. So let's get this party started. I want to start off by saying this video will be a two-parter. So some of these images will be on the second video, so keep that in mind. I didn't even know I was going to make a video because I didn't know what to expect with this city, but it was just so amazing. Now, Tainan is the oldest city on the island and commonly called the Perfectual Capital for its over 260 years of history as the capital of Taiwan under the Dutch rule. Tainan's complex history of comebacks, redefinitions, and renewals inspired its popular nickname, the Phoenix City. Tainan is classified as a sufficiency level global city by the Globalization World Cities Research Network. And we couldn't have picked a better time to come as Tainan was celebrating not just one of the biggest dragon and lantern festivals in all of Taiwan, but to do it in the year of the dragon made it epic. So come along with us and watch till the end. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Now there are three different options for getting from Taipei where we came from to Tainan. Of course the bus is the least expensive, but you could take the regular rail or the high speed like to rail. To include a little tour of our place. This place cost us 1300 NT, which is about $42 American. We are now at what is said to be the very first Confucius temple. It looks like a temple complex uh, in, in Taiwan uh, in the 400 year history of this town and on the whole island. So it's a must to go see. So we're going to go check. Now people from all over the island of Taiwan come to Tainan almost like a pilgrimage just to see the oldest Confucius temple. It might not have the wow factor as some of the other temples, but the historical and spiritual significance is amazing and worth the visit for sure. Now be prepared to see a lot of lanterns and a lot of dragons as, as we are in the middle of the Lantern Festival here in, in Tainan. And it's also their 400th birthday as a city. attractions here. Um, we've just entered it so we hear it's a very much a hipster street with, with uh, quaint little boutiques and shops and things like that. So let's go have a look.
that's not from China. Yeah, coming, coming, coming. <sighs> Another really cool thing here in Tainan Sometimes it's hard to flag down a, a taxi because you don't really, there's not a lot around. But you can go to any 7 Eleven and they'll call a taxi for you. The taxi knows exactly where to come. Now, the Sakeo Ecological Tour, otherwise known as a green tunnel, is well worth a visit. First off, you get this nice little boat ride and you have the canopy of the forest that literally blotches out the sky uh, underneath the branches and everything but you got to watch your head but it also has two other attractions right in the immediate area within walking distance both uh, uh, Tainan's marine museum and also an absolutely breathtaking temple so this is certainly uh, recommended yeah, this river tour, the green tunnel it's called, it's just an amazing, look at this. Literally, this is just right over your head. It's like a ceiling of greenery and trees and branches. But the only down part of this is our tour guide it will not shut up. It's 30 minutes and she hasn't stopped talking, not even for one second. But other than that, everything's really going to be great. Now, if you're looking for a temple with wow factor, this is the temple for you. The Sakeo Dazhong Temple. I hope I pronounced that right. It's over 200 years old and, and just steps away from the Green uh, River or Green Tunnel River tour. And just look at the attention to detail and the craftsmanship on this. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that I showed earlier uh, last night we had these I'm, I'm sure they're F-16 fighter jets and they constantly were flying over and all day today we've seen more of them but every time they would fly over I could never get my camera out and ready in time because they come so fast so it was very frustrating because I wanted to film in the Does any of my viewers know I'm absolutely crazy about dragons and I can't believe it. We're at the Lantern Festival here in Tainan, Taiwan. And just have a look at these dragons. So I saved the best for last. This is Tainan's Lantern Festival in this the year of the dragon and let me tell you it was jaw-dropping judy and i spent probably two and a half hours here and i don't think we've seen half of it.
Every year in Taiwan, they move the largest lantern festival throughout different cities in the country. This year, they chose Tainan because it is celebrating its 400th birthday. And this in the year of the dragon, you know, my favorite. So how lucky did we get? Now, as we come to the end of my video of Tainan Part 1, I want to thank everyone who watched my video, especially my subscribers. But if you did like this video and you want to give it a, a like and subscribe, that would be great. It would help me get, uh, you know, news of how great Taiwan is and might bring more people to explore this amazing country. But I want everyone to stay humble and treat people the way you want to be treated. And until my next video, peace out.